I guess that's what they have in Norway. I currently have an iPhone 4S, which I've had for just over 18 months, I think. My contract's up in December. I think I'm then just going to buy a, a SIM-free phone and then just get like seven quid SIM cards. I can't stand being on contract. They've put the price of the contracts up twice so far. Like that's orange. They've put the, the contract started out and they've put it up about six quid in the last 18 months. A month. Just rip off bastards. Like you sign a contract thinking that's what you're going to be paying for two years and they just, whenever they want to, they can just up the price. Screw that. He likes squirrels. They have yellow lines in Ontario. Look, it went white then, did you see? Oh, starting to give it... My back's starting to hurt a little bit on this bloody chair. Now the lines have stopped. We're going really twisty now. We're going super twisty. I love having the retarder just on these little thumb buttons. It means that you can just... slow the truck down a little bit without having to engage the brake. Contracts are too expensive, but then, you know, people, most people can't afford £500 to shell out on a SIM-free phone. That's the thing. So unless you wait to at least 18 months so that you get a, a, a phone generation that's at least one or two generations behind, like if you got a Galaxy S2 now, you get it really cheaply, and an S3 even is only about £300 now. But if you want a new phone, you're going to have to pay for a contract or shell out 500 quid. I don't watch Doctor Who, no. Favourite YouTube channel that I watch is one called The Squirrel's Nuts. I think he's absolutely awesome. He does great videos. Uh, does great trucking videos, which is cool because I love trucking. Um, but <laughs> I don't watch an awful lot of YouTube, to be honest. Being a content creator, I spend most of my time just creating stuff. Or playing the games to create content or streaming, so I don't really just don't get much time to watch. Toll paid. Do you watch the thick of it? Nope. I'm waiting for um, I'm waiting for Breaking Bad to finish, which it's going to do very shortly, and then I'm going to watch the whole damn thing on my iPad. Sherlock. Oh, I love Sherlock. I think. Everybody loves Sherlock. And yes, I've seen the, the advert for the new season, but it didn't really show you very much. Yeah, if you're going to go, see you later. Thanks for dropping by. Popcorn. <laughs> Who doesn't like popcorn, eh? Sweet or salty? I don't mind either popcorn, actually. I'm 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 happy with both. The kids are like, oh, like sweet, oh, like salty. I think we have to get salty when we go to the cinema. I don't watch football. I don't watch rugby. I don't follow any of the teams. I should put that in my FAQ. Is that a Scania? Is that a Scania? Yep. That's a Scania. There's no date on GTA 5 on PC. There's no date at all. In fact, if you go and look at the website, it says unconfirmed whether they're going to do it at all. Delivery from Ruinous91. Welcome to Norway. The home of Vikings. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Home of Vikings? Isn't Rob Az from Sweden? And he calls himself like the... Uh, he says, become a Viking today. He's not from Norway, is he? Thank you for your delivery, sir, by the way. And I will change all you guys' chat colour after the delivery. Oh, man, look at that over there. That's so cool. We're going to go round that, I think. Norway is for the real Vikings. <laughs> Who provides your broadband? BT Infinity. And the bloody good. 
Where is that boat? Oh, wow, look at that. Holy crap, look at that. Oh, man, that is cool. That is brilliant. It looks totally out of place where it is. It just looks like it's been dumped into a lake, but it looks fantastic. Do you think you get the TV times to list the time of your streams? <laughs> no, because I don't have any time streams. That is brill. That is massive. That is, that is gigantic, that thing. It's like a proper cruise ship, wasn't it? Oh, it's not like in 10th gear. It wants 8th. You have War Thunder correct? I don't have it correct. Can you link the speed limit mod? There is no speed limit mod. You just go into your settings. Go into setting options general, and then it says limit speed, tick box. That's it. You don't need a mod for it anymore. Your Scania just hit 70,000k. Mine's done 43 and a half now, so it's coming up to its 50th birthday. <laughs> We're on the E16. Has anybody in this stream actually been on the E16? How long is it, by the way, the E16, I wonder? Does the E stand for anything in particular? Like, this would be the M for motorway in the UK, but E must mean... Is that is like a Norwegian word that means a road kind of thing. European Road 16, oh, okay. How do you download 148? I'm sure somebody in the chat can answer. Just get it on Steam, it's a lot easier. Oh, there's the coach again. Look, I want to get that coach trailer. I want to drive a coach. Or rather, pull a coach. There's another one. Toll road, toll road, here we go. Norway tax. Wow, they do have a lot of toll roads, don't they? Bloody hell. Do they have road tax in Sweden or uh, in Norway? Is it just all paid for by the tolls? It's because European motorway. Yeah, but it wasn't a motorway, was it? Can I beat this guy? Can I beat this guy? Can I beat him? Yeah, boy. <laughs> he who does wins. Yeah, if you got to go, thanks for uh, hanging out on the stream. It's been good having ev everybody here. It's been good fun this stream actually. Done a couple of mammoth journeys all the way across Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland. How long are you going to stream ETS 2? Um, probably to the end of this journey. I don't think my back and my buttocks can take it anymore. <laughs> Look at that though, is that like a dam or something? Looks like a dam. Yeah, I think it is, it looks like a hydroelectric dam. Cool. They even put that in the bloody thing. Awesome. Attention to detail is cool. If Scanners didn't exist, what trucks would you go with? Um, blah, blah, blah. Volvo or man, I think. Probably Volvo. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love the G27? <sighs> I've not found anything bad. It's been nothing but good, so I'd have to say, I'd have to say a 10 because I can't think of anything negative. Whoa, map glitch, look at the shit growing in the road here, what's going on? They've got grass growing out the tarmac here. I think they've got a map bug there. <laughs> but 
Brilliant stream, keep it up. Oh yes, I'm going to make the delivery, don't you worry. Oops. Once the retarder and accidentally pressed the horn. Norway has the best scenery. It's very good. I mean, it was, oh, it was um, impressive Sweden as well. It's very different feel to it, actually. This is all very kind of green in between the, um, the hills and the mountains and stuff. Whereas uh, Sweden... A lot more cities in Sweden that you could visit, from what I could tell. This is a lot more kind of cross-country hack. Is that a roundabout coming up? It is as well. That was a bad gear change right there. If you had to sacrifice all of your empire of trucking nuts to a worldwide map, would you? Uh, the click of a finger. Yep, I would. Absolutely. Delivery from the Delta 07. You've done a few today, haven't you? I enjoyed your stream. Sounds like he's going. Past tense. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't donate more. You deserve it, but it's time for me to go take her. Uh... Thanks, dude. No, th seriously, thanks for being around um, for so long. And uh, you will be able to catch the rest of it on YouTube, because I'll post it there. Uh, thanks for your kind support and your kind words. Much appreciated. And yeah. Enjoy whatever you're going doing. We got a right turn into Bergen, by the look of it. Is it Bergen? Why is your shifter on the right side? Why is your shifter on the right side? Because in English cars, the shifter is on the left. That's true. Look inside this truck, sir. Where is the steering wheel? And where do you think the shifter would go? Would it go over here? Or would the shifter go over here? Does that answer your question? We've got discovery points in Bergen that I'm thinking... How close are we to the end? 700k, but we've got a big chunk of that is going to be the ferry. So you can see we're in Bergen now. We are almost there, basically. What I'm going to do is turn left and pick those two up. Then we're going to get the ferry and we're pretty much there, so probably about another 10 minutes left. Do you like old American cars? No. I don't like um, old cars at all, really. I'm more of a modern car time kind of guy. If you weren't Freddie Stobart and you were given a Renault, I'd leave. I'd quit. I wouldn't drive a bloody Renault for real. Hell to the no. How long is a world of trucks? I honestly don't know. You stream here for four hours. Feels a bit longer. This is going to be the last delivery though, guys. Uh, I'm not going to drive any more tonight. Mostly because my back's hurting. Those textures. Look, they've even got a shop. The textures are so good. They've even got a shop along it. What car do you drive? A Toyota Yaris Hybrid. And don't knock the Toyota Hybrid unless you've driven one. A lot better than you could possibly imagine. It's three weeks since I... I had to fill my car up before. And uh, it's three weeks. Three weeks since I filled it up. Cost me 40 quid. <laughs> How good's that? Don't get shouty because you're going to get timed out. I think I'll adopt a policy from now on, actually, that if anybody shouts capitals in chat, I'm going to ignore it. As a way to discourage people from shouting. Apart from the fact that you'll get timed out, it just means that those people who choose to shout yeah, hybrid is eco-friendly, definitely. Definitely. Pay zero road tax. And zero uh, congestion charge. Because they're that efficient. I mean, I drive it hard and I get 45 miles to the gallon. 
But if I want to, on longer journeys, easily do 60 miles to the gallon. And let's face it, fuel prices are only ever going to go up. It's a lovely day in Norway, in Bergen. It's a lovely day. Let's have a look at the scenery. Let's get out the truck and look around, shall we? Delivery from Biff Kapow. <laughs> I like that. Biff Kapow. Have you thought about getting a racing chair on a stand? I am going to have to do something, if I'm honest with you. Uh, because this dining chair isn't comfortable enough for long streams. What is that? It's a Scania! Scania! Beast? Um, yeah, basically somebody pointed me to a video, right? Oh, sorry, I missed this one. I'm, I didn't miss your name. I'm going now. Enjoy my money. <laughs> God. Take care and good night from Nottingham. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your delivery. Much more appreciated. I'll change all of your chat colours later, guys. So for the next stream, which will be tomorrow, um... You will have the chat colour, and thank you for your support. It is much appreciated. Um, I watched a video, somebody sent me a video of this guy who was showing how you could attach a board to the pedals, and then you basically cut a hole in the board, a small hole, a couple of inches wide, and then when you've got your nice chair with wheels on it, basically the wheel sits in the gap of the board, and then the chair doesn't move when you press on the pedals. So that's one option. But I love my comfy chair, it's just a problem with wheels when you've got pedals. Oh, it's from it was from Geordie Joe. Oh right, okay. Geordie Joe, you're an absolute boss, sir. I can't believe how many deliveries you've sent me. But uh, take care and have a good night. And hopefully see you tomorrow. Whoa, container ship central, look at this. I can't believe Jolly Joe had to go when it's about 10 minutes before the end. I'm <laughs> about to make the delivery. Oh, look at this. This is brilliant. This is so well done. Would you prefer trucking at Scania or a million pounds? What, a million pounds for real? But if I had a million pounds, I could just buy a trucking nut Scania, surely? So I'd have the million pounds. Oh look, there's the coach. That neon on the back is fantastic. Okay, where the hell is the... Where do we go? Does anybody know where I go? How am I supposed to get through there, you fuckers? You've got to be kidding me! <laughs> the map authors have had a bit of a laugh with this one. Now that is funny. That is funny. They've made it really difficult to get through here. I was getting all worried then. I was like, oh my god, where do I get in? They're basically making me drive through a lot of parked cars. Nice touch. Nice touch. Uh, and through uh, the barriers as well. Delivery from Danny Wow One. Danny says What was that? Oh Lonnie Stormman. First time watching you, Paul. Very enjoyable. Great! Thank you for your delivery, sir. Um hit follow, go to my channel, hit subscribe, and don't forget Facebook and Twitter as well. I'm active throughout the day, especially on Twitter and Facebook. And, um, yeah, this will be cut up and put onto YouTube, so if you did miss the start or any of it, then you'll be able to watch it there. Right, parking brake, engine off. Enter. Newcastle upon Tyne, 1,500 euros, 22 hours. This is where we find out if we're going to be late.
Uh, time remaining, 20 hours, delivery one. No, nope, we're good. We're all good. And Katarina just brought in some money. Katarina's leveled. So even though we went crazy driving, if you missed the start, if you missed the, um, if you haven't been in for the whole stream, guys, you've missed an absolute treat around the Scania test drive centre. Funny as hell. Uh, but it will be on YouTube, so make sure you follow that. I'll cut it up and put it on YouTube tomorrow. Your hometown, Newcastle. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I'm in Britain. Fuck, 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 fuck. Nobody pointed that out. Nobody pointed out that I was on the wrong... There you go. He spotted it. <laughs> I do it every time I get off the damn ferry. I drive on the wrong side. Every time. <laughs> you might as well stay to the end now because it really is right near the end. We're in Newcastle. A pond sign. There's a Euro Goodies trailer. Come on, dudes, let me out. The traffic's not meant to be this busy in, in Newcastle. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you. One kind driver. What time are we streaming tomorrow? Um, I don't know. Evening, sort of. Five, six, seven, maybe. UK time. I don't really know. It just depends what... Oh, speed camera. It just depends what happens during the day, basically. Uh, don't really play Minecraft, no. This driver here needs to go away, because he's going to get cut up. What an idiot. I wouldn't go down the inside of a truck like that. Hell no. Not round a roundabout. 55 kilometres, it must be just outside of Newcastle. Yeah, I could have just slowly edged out. Um, it just feels wrong. It just feels like the, the AI should be just that little bit smarter. Play DCUO, it's fun. What's DCUO? Yeah, actually, they do that on the, um, when you come through, um, port ferries in the UK, it actually says drive on the left, it says remember drive on the left, so that should be put in the game, they should have the signs saying that. Paul Mary talked about trucking songs came the other day, <laughs> it's really good, you should definitely get it. I had a look at the songs, they look okay. Not sure all of them were trucking songs, but they definitely look good. A1 to Newcastle. Thirty-eight K. Looks like it's down the road somewhere. It's only just in Newcastle. It looks like we're gonna get it delivered on time anyway. That's the main thing. I think there might have been a little bit of damage to the trailer though, so probably going to get a penalty. I reckon, what do you reckon the rating's going to be? If I had to guess, I'd say it'll say good work, not excellent. I think it'll say good work, because I think we picked up a little bit of trailer damage. I didn't answer your question. There are a lot of things to read. <laughs> I don't always see your question, but... Spamming is not the answer. Yeah, you can get... E you, like I say, definitely don't play... Pay full price for ETS. You can definitely get it on a deal somewhere. You just need to look. You reckon good work as well? Yeah, I reckon good work. Newcastle left turn. Here we go. Satisfactory. You cheeky bugger. <laughs> I think it's only really concerned with the trailer damage, and I've already repaired the truck damage, but yeah, you could be right. 
it depends how it works it out. If it if it's going to take into account the damage it did to the truck on the test track, uh, uh, then yes, I'm going to get probably an average <laughs> at best. A delivery from Hock Holt. How does the G27? How does the G27 gear shift work with ETS? Trucks have 12 gears. G27 on a six. Thinking about getting one. Um, okay. He's letting me out. So what? Oh, look at that. I've got to get that. What are you doing, dude? You can't flash me out there, you moron. Are you serious? Well, mm, she needs more training. So the way it works is you've got 12 gears and 6 on here. Yeah, you're quite correct about that. But you have a shifter. So that's the way trucks actually work, is they shift up. So... If you notice at the moment it says in 8th gear, if I press this button here, right, press the press the key, I'm now in 7th gear. So now when I'm driving, I'm moving up through the odd gears. So if I want to go up a gear, if I dip the clutch and press this button, 10 gear, yeah, and then 12. So you get odd gears and, and even gears. That's one way of configuring it. You can also go 1 to 6 and then press the shifter key and go 7 to 12. What the feck is that guy doing? That is a massive trailer. I so want it. Anyway, you can you can have 12 gears, basically, by having a shifter. There's even an option to have it like a real Scania, where you have a double shifter. That's pretty scary. How do you look around the cabin on the outside with the mouse? Uh, press the number 2 key on your keyboard. Just go into your keyboard options and have a look. Wow, that guy's driving ridiculously weird. We're almost there, guys. One kilometre, one minute away. This has been a mammoth journey. An absolute ding-donger all the way across Norway. I hope you've enjoyed it, because I've enjoyed it. Oh, that's a hell of a drop there, isn't it? Whoa! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Insane cut. What did I tell you about the AI cars? Cutting them up on the inside. And that's exactly what he just did. Oh, hello, Mr. Range Rover. That was the best idea ever. They just had a little collision, didn't they? I need to get in that lane now. I think it's in here. It looks like it's in here. Yeah, there it is. Best part of the stream was the test track. Yeah, I, I agree. That was absolutely hilarious. That whole bit around the track and the dirt track as well. That was great fun. Right, let's park this bad boy up, shall we? Plenty of diggers here. Very industrial, so the... Uh, Thanks for four hours of fun. No problem at all. Thank you for watching for four hours. I keep saying it wouldn't be anything without you guys. Uh, uh. Delivery from Ruinous91. Good stream. I'll be back. I'll be back. Another time. Okay, Ruinous, thank you for your delivery, sir. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm going to straighten this thing up a bit. Might as well use all the space we've got. Concentration. I think that's in on the other side, I'm not entirely sure. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Engine off. I love your streams, Paul, thank you. Been entertaining as always. Excellent! I got an excellent! I didn't get a good work or a satisfactory, I got excellence. Fantastic! <laughs>
brilliant. Look at that. That's that's put a good chunk on level 23. I'm nearly at 24, so next stream I'll get to 24, I reckon. Awesome. 270 grand in the bank. How much do I owe on that loan? Left to repay 226. I could actually pay that off. I could actually pay that off. Good stuff. Right. Let's go move over here. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that stream. I think you did. I definitely enjoyed it. And I hope you did too. Let's park her up. Let's get outside. There's the beautiful Scania. The R620. With the squirrel logo. We're in Newcastle. We are in Newcastle upon Tyne. Let's just freeze that there. 